Okay. Today we are going to start to debate about the filter design in digital signal processing. Okay. <coughs> so we have title in here digital signal processing and so our topic is that filter design but in what in discrete domain okay first of all the filter design is or the has an utmost important importance to get the better results in real-time applications because in the real time we have the many <coughs> disturbances such as the noise or unwanted signals or the something like that okay due to the remaining noise and these signals from the main body we need to spread the whole the things by using the what discrete filters okay in order to design the discrete filter, first of all, we need to design the analog continuous filter which means that we can utilize the what the analog filter design to create the what the discrete one okay by using the some methods for example the bilinear transform okay this is important because in the real life application the analog filter always will with the RC or OPAMP operation amplifier designs but these filters can be manipulated with the what the mathematical formulations <coughs> which is the easiest way to what to build your filter because you you can program the dis digital filters discrete filters by using the anyway but uh, if you want to design the analog filter this is the most efficient way to what to suppress the whole signal in the continuous time domain but we should design this filter electronically and then we have the many cost if we don't have any information about the filters or the noises okay but in the discrete filter we can optimize the R design by using the what the bilinear transform in here okay in the <coughs> literature we have the what the two kind of important filters that's the, there are many filters but uh, we have the two special filters in order to build the R algorithms okay the special filters can be given by this one first of all we have the Butterworth filters which is continuous time domain filter guys just remember that and also we have the Chebyshev filter this is standard implementation of the filters but in what in analog domain okay and so the Butterworth filter contains the pole design just like the what if we have the S plane just like the Fourier transform or the Laplace transform and then we can set the hold the poles to the desired points which means that we can define what are cutoff frequencies in here okay and so everything which is given in the what in the S plane or the frequency domains okay and so this Butterworth filter creates the maximal flat response at each frequency inputs in here and also we should use the few parameters to what to create the R designs okay to design it but What's the meaning of the maximal flat response and the few parameters in here just like this one? First of all, we know that the, we have the border plots in here just like this one. This is the frequency in here and also we can set the cutoff frequency which means that this cutoff frequency is to be used to what? To select 
the which frequency is our region is our boundary to what to pass or stop the signals for example if you have this signal in the db domain the energy domain we can set the zero db in here this is what this is in the magnitude form which equals to what equals to the one okay but if we use this filter and so this is the what this is the one point in the magnitude form and so we can set the r signal at the minus 3 db which is the half of the power of the r signals and so this cutoff frequency can be set in here okay and so before the fc happen or the for example the there is if there is any signal is lower than the fc this signals is passed but the other signals is not in here okay <clears throat> and also we have the Chebyshev filters okay these Chebyshev filters just like the what the pole design in the what in the S plane okay and so this S plane creates do not the what the maximal flat response but the equiripples in passband regions and fastest decrease in what in stop band but in order to design these things the many parameters should be utilized okay what's the difference between the Chebyshev and the Butterworth in here in the Butterworth filter we have also a butter plot in here just like this one the FC and also we have the DB the signal energy form or the power form in here okay and so we can create the, what the zero db region in here just like this one okay but the chebyshev filter creates the what the, this kind of outputs okay which means that we have the what the minus 3 db we'll use in here and so this filter to what to pass this locations but the, not this one okay but the difference is given in the what in the fastest transient response transition response in here we have the fastest decrease in here and so if we suppress the whole signal after the FC and so we can use the Chebyshev filter but if we want to create the more robust and flat response before the FC and so we can utilize what the Butterworth figure but the common point is that we can design the R specific filter using the what using the G the energy form frequency curve and so if we want to design any filter we can use this graph in order to what in order to design or build the R filter specifications in here for example the cutoff frequency for example stop band frequency pass band frequency or pass band ripple or the stop band ripple okay and so if we condition this body plots or this g or magnitude f graph and so we can design to what to design filters we can set the transfer function or in another case the r filter to the what to the specific parameters okay this is the most known digital filters in the analog and 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 discrete domain guys okay <coughs> So, <clears throat> this is the reminder man. Reminders one. And also we have the reminder two. Body frequency. so in order to get the what <coughs> in order to get 
the frequency range. What's the meaning of this? If we have the any F S input to the what to do any system in here G S, we have the C S signal or this is the U S. And so if you want to pass the some frequency and the others not, we can design the, this G S value based on the what the body frequencies in here. And so in this body frequency S or the S plane variable in the Laplace domain should be assigned with what the J dot W. This is the angular frequency of the R notation 2 pi F. Okay. And so if we want to design this curve and then we can build these frequency plots in here and so we need to give the what reminder tree in here just like this one and so we need to calculate what the body magnitude and fuzz right because if we have the any frequency signals in here to be applied to the GS, some of the signals is amplified, but some of them not, or some of them passed, or some of them stopped. Okay, and so we need to design this GS to what to create the FC or the cutoff frequencies based on the what based on the body plot in terms of the what the magnitude and the fuzz with respect to the frequency region okay and so in the reminder tree just remember that the, the magnitude or power of the signal is given by for the following formula the magnitude can be built with the water 20 dot log basis 10 and so we have the what HGV in here, just like this one, this is the R system. And the fuzz can be given with the what with these terms H, G, W, tangential components of the what the IMAC or imaginary units of the what the HGV and real part of the HGV. Okay. And so this is the representation of the Euler identity. And so this is the magnitude of the R signal, but in the what? In the decibel formations. Okay? These are the basis for the what? For these characteristics. But how we can calculate these informations? The examples can be given. Consider that we have hs just like 1 divided by s plus 1 and so calculate the magnitude and the force this is our problem okay and the solution can be given or written with the what with these steps <coughs> first of all we should assign the s j dot w okay and so <coughs> If you have this information, HJW is rewritten as the JW plus 1. And so, <coughs> in the complex conjugate form, we have the what? We need to multiply with what? The minus JW plus 1. And so, we have the 1 minus JW divided by 1 plus W squared. Okay? And so, in the real and the <coughs> imaginary part, we can write that the real part of the R filter is the 1 divided by 1 plus W square. And so the imaginary part is minus W divided by 1 plus W square. Okay? And so our magnitude can be combined with this information or we can take the what the absolute values of the real and imaginary but to find out what the Pythagorean hypotenuse okay and so if we have this information HDV GW absolute values can be given by with what the 1 divided by 1 plus omega square square and plus 1 W 
1 plus w square square and so if we have these nominations in here just like this one and then we can take the what the one the y by square root of the one plus w square okay these are the nominations in the what in our algorithms okay because the square form is given in here and then we can take the what hold the values based on the these informations in here just like this one but we need to add the square form in here okay and so <clears throat> how we can calculate the fuzz of the r algorithm this is the what this is the magnitude of these terms and also the fuzz can be written as the hjw which is equal to the tangential or arctang minus w 1 plus w square divided by 1 1 plus w square and so tangent inverse value or the arctan minus w can be given for the what for the fast diagrams okay so the basis for the what for the calculations of the these terms okay this is a reminder section to what to analyze your system in the frequency domain which we can replace the s with the j dot w in the other identity formulations and then we can create what our magnitude form in terms of what the real and imaginary part and then we can find out to what our radius on the what earlier identity formulations and so this radius can be represented with the what with the magnitude values but the fuzz is given by with the tangential components of the these terms okay so <clears throat> this uh, magnitude and fuzz representation of the r filters but in the next case we need to talk about the what the body plot and it is representation or the drawing fuzz in the what in the algorithms okay and so for a filter we need to analyze it in body plot because the every case or the every process should be included this body plot because the body plot is true and so the R filter is true as well okay <clears throat> in terms of the what the magnitude and F curve in here and so which is given by <coughs> this one and so we can draw the r curve in here just like this one okay and so this is generally assigned with what the magnitude or the dv form in here if we have the magnitude form and then we have the one to one process in here or zero dv formulations because in the previous case we give these nominations in here just like this one if the hgw the absolute form of these things is equals to the one and so this energy form is to what to zero decibel okay and so <coughs> also we have the zero values in here at the magnitude okay and so this is the minus infinity db right minus infinity and so there is no power to be transmitted to the what to the output one okay and so <clears throat> the ideal filter should be given by with the what with the fc value in here and so we can draw the ideal filter just like this rectangular form if we have the ideal filter just like this one and so before the cutoff frequency we have the one value in here but after the or the upper values of the fc should be equals to the zero but this is the ideal filter okay we don't have any ideal filter in the real-time applications or in continuous domain guys okay <clears throat> but we can design the another parameters in here just like this one first of all if you have the any signal in here 
and then we can build the what the these nominations in here just like this one and uh, so maybe we can design the r real filter just like this one this is the real filter design it looks like it okay because we don't have the, any ideal signal but we must learn that uh, these values must be equal to what the 3 db value in here okay this is important so <clears throat> in this case we define the new parameters in here the region between these two things is called to what the passband ripple and so this region that we call to the what the stop band ripple this are ripple or the fluctuations <coughs> at what at the magnitude and the power form of this filter design okay and so also we can draw the what these terms in here just like this one so this is a fastest decrease in here and so this is called the what the transition white in terms of what the frequency region for example the fc is equals to the 300 hertz and so we may create the what the 200 to 400 transition white for a given application that we need to build it okay and so these are the critical parameters in here just like this one and so if we manipulate the R system or the R design of filter in the S domain in the frequency domain and then we can build the water these characteristics based on the water frequency values and the magnitude and the DB form generally in the literature we have the normalization values of these terms in the frequency range for example this one is equals to the what the fs sampling rate divided by two and in terms of the what the pi radian divided by sample this is the frequency range of these terms okay and so this is called the normalized frequency for example if you have this normalized frequency and then if you <coughs> sampled your signals at the rate of the 1000 hertz and then you can assign to this one to what the 500 hertz and so you may choose the what the cutoff frequency based on these terms and so the sampling rate is the another important parameter to design your system for example if you utilize the what the 10,000 sampling rate and so you may choose the different parameters for the what for your design filter design for the same cutoff frequency passband ripple and the stop band ripple guys okay these parameters are the essentials to establish the filter design but the, some of the concept should be revised in the what in the body plot to what to build the what are parameters for example we need to explain the cutoff frequency passband ripple transition transition point or storm band ripple in here okay and so we need to add another reminder in here okay first of all the number of reminders is that the reminder one is what a function okay the body plot can be drawn based on transfer function guys which is given in the s plane just like this one we have always the hs in here and we have the numerator and the denominator okay for example from the previous example hs is equals to what one divided by s plus one okay this is the reminder one for the section one okay and also we need to continue 
these terms in here the reminder to cutoff frequency it's a break frequency to what to our applications okay it is defined as <coughs> S at which the magnitude of TF decreases to 1 divided by square root of 2 or in another term 0 0.070 okay or in energy or the power notation minus 3 decibel point which is to what the half of the power <coughs> okay and so in order to do that we need to use these two concepts to what to design uh, for example the low pass filters based on these informations okay and so as always we do we need to create examples design a low pass filter for for example the hs can be built with what the one divided by r c s plus one this is equal to the what the r and c this is the first order low pass filter at the what at the v out okay but we need to determine to the what to the r and c value for a given the cutoff frequencies okay and so we need to create a stage for these terms. Firstly, we need to write to what the S is equal to the JW, and then HJW must be equal to the what the one divided by R C J W plus one. Okay. These are the what these are the frequency representation of the R transfer functions. Okay. And so we need to Calculate what the magnitude of these signals H J W this is the hypotenuse of the other identity formulation this is the absolute form and so one divided by R C J W square plus one okay this is the magnitude it's R basis how we can do that we need to multiply with the complex conjugate formulations in here in here and so we have the minus r c j w plus one and then minus r c j w right this is the r term in here and so we can take the what the these terms in here r c w but in the what in the minus form in here they are all the square form minus plus one okay this is the multiplication of the these terms but minus terms we move to this one okay and so after that the real part and the imaginary part should be squared in here and divided by with the what with these terms okay <coughs> so at the third case, we need to set the parameters of the these terms. <coughs> and so, in order to find out the cutoff frequency, we need to take this HJW, which is equal to 1 divided by square root 2. Okay? And so, 1 divided by square r c w square plus one which is equal to what the one divided by square root two okay coming from this equation two must be equal to what the r c w square plus one or in another terms one must be equal to the what r c w square okay and so we can say that the v c w c is equal to what the one divided by r and c and also we need to convert these terms convert frequency 
like this the angular frequency just remember that angular frequency and so the f c w c divided by pi q and so which is equals to 1 divided by 2 pi r and c okay and so we can set any points in here by using the, what the selecting the new r and c values to what to desired characteristics frequency form in here okay we can design it in a simple way for example if we choose the water this is the one divided by two dot pi and so we can say the water c is equals to the two and then we have the zero dot five hertz cutoff frequency in here okay this is just simple is that and so in the next session we will drive the second order cut frequency representation in the what in the under damped natural frequency of the second order representation of the r transfer function okay